doing? What are you doing to fill your time? Um, this is it. I just beg people to be on their show because I have <laughs> nothing. We are in lockdown. <laughs> um, no, I, my kids are obviously, I have a senior in high school and, and a sophomore in high school. And so they're home, they're homeschooling. And um, it's, oh, it's I'm a sorry tough. sorry for your senior because this yeah, is my graduation a, year. Yeah, it's a tough beat. I mean, you know, he uh, has a girlfriend, so they had prom canceled. They did a little prom thing in their in the backyard the other day just to try and make something special. But spring break and prom and graduation and he plays spring sports. That was canceled. And so, yeah, well, it's a tough way to go out. But this is actually, this is an amazing thing because I was just actually um, speaking with a voice um, about, you know, how long they've been on or whatever. And Blake has been there forever. But you've been with The Bachelor? That's 18 years? Is that what? Yeah. 18 that's right. years. That's your kid. That's your that's your kid going to college. Like that's in that's amazing. Like are do you feel like you're a relationship expert at this point is my cuz I feel like you're probably really good at a relationship how you speak. Well, it's funny how you put that in perspective because so my son was 6 weeks old when I got the job and so when he shows up on set now he's 6 foot 2 and a big college kid and everyone's like, "Oh my gosh." That's how long we've been doing this show. It's horrifying. Um, but it is, you know, I, how long you've been doing the show? The show's going to college now. But I, I feel like, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I definitely should have some sort of honorary degree in psychology of, of, of dealing with relationships because I have truly seen it all. And I've been through it myself and seen it on TV. Yeah. Of all the people you've had on the show, who have you wanted to scream at most? <laughs> <laughs> well, who have beyond... you been like, look, you need to take a minute? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I don't know if there's anyone who's ever been on the show I haven't wanted to do that. Um, I mean, even this last season with Peter, I wanted to just grab him by the, by the shirt collar and be like, come on, man, pull it together. <laughs> because uh, he was a mess coming down the stretch. And Colton, obviously, jumping the fence and running away from me in the Portuguese countryside. So, yeah, and even Hannah and I had our moment. So I think with probably oh, every drama. probably with every Bachelor and Bachelorette, there is that moment where they want to scream at me, and sometimes they do, uh, and then I want to yell at them. But that's, that's part of, honestly, I do get involved in these people's lives, and I do care about them. And I think when you do love people, it's not that you abuse them, that's not love, but I think you do have those heated moments where you're really telling your truth. Yeah, I think if you don't, if you don't care about someone, then you don't, you don't care about telling the truth. You're just like, whatever, I'm exactly. just Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I think it means something when you do get heated, that means that you're involved, you're invested. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel! Please don't make me keep going.